welcome you all to the ninth standard today let us begin with the first chapter of biology that is fundamental unit of life students let us first understand what the title means for us okay so the fundamental fundamental in the sense it is the basic basic you basic or the foundation and unit in the sense a single part a single part of life so let us take one example if you see a huge building the huge building is constructed with the help of a bricks so what is the basic building block of that uh, building it is the brick the same way if you take the example of any form of life that is an organism organism consider one human being now if you talk about a human being a human being is the one of the example where we are going to see what is the main or a single unit from which this organism is formed so this whole organism is formed from a group of organ system organ system so how this organ system is been formed it is formed from group of organs so organs again how these organs are formed by group of tissues and if you consider this tissues if the group of tissues this group of tissues are formed from group of cells so is there anything from that the cells are formed no so this is what the single unit from which this whole big organism is formed so let us see what is this cells are so we have lot of questions in our mind that uh, regarding the cell who has discovered the cell how it was discovered and what is the cell and what is the structure of cell to get the answer for all these questions let us move on to the next slide that is the see in this chapter you are going to see or you are going to learn a chapter at a glance in you you in which you are going to learn about all these things in this chapter so first we will see what is the cell so what what is the cell here so if you consider the cell the cell is having many parts the parts the main three parts are there which you will observe in almost any type of cell that is the cell membrane then nucleus and cytoplasm if you see the cytoplasm the inside the cytoplasm there are many different organelles which are working together to help the cell perform its activities in a smooth manner and what are those organelles endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosome mitochondria vacuoles centrioles and plastids so let us move on to the discover let us move on to the next slide what what all topics we are going to cover in this chapter are discovery of cells discovery of cells you then we are going to learn about the organization of the organism that is unicellular or multicellular organisms then shape and size of the cells then structure of cell cell organelles main components of cell then we are going to classify or classification of cell organelles then we are going to learn the functions of all these cell organelles and also we will discuss about the important questions so let us begin with the our chapter that is the first the first topic in this chapter that is discovery of cell as we were having a question who discovered the cell so cell the cell discovery of cell it was a major you know no doubt it was a very uh, insignificant incident and a very a minute discovery but it 
proved to, it was a very great or important in the history of science so who discovered it and in which year so this was discovered by robert hook in the year 1665 and how he observed this as he was examining the slice of a cork now the children you might have the question in your mind what is this slice of a cork and from where did he get it so this was taken from a bark of a tree if you consider the trunk of a tree here you might be knowing the cinnamon the bark of a tree the hard protective brown covering on the trunk from that section he has taken a small piece of it and that is called as a cork and when he observed the cork under the microscope obviously the in those period of time still the my compound microscope was not invented so he has designed his own microscope and with the help of a simple magnifying glass he noticed that small boxes or a compartments of the cork cell and it resembled to the honeycomb like structure this is what he observed under the microscope and he named the small components or compartments or boxes as a cell the cell is a latin word it is a latin word which means small rooms or little rooms the cell the cell as they resemble the honeycomb like structure and they were like a boxes or a small component he named it as a cell and cell is a latin word it is derived from the latin language so next we will move on to the slide where it shows the microscope which he has designed and this is what and the thing what he has observed under that microscope so this is the slide which gives the idea like what the microscope was and the slice uh, the slice of a cork so let after the discovery of this or invention of the magnifying glass the great uh, magnific so here the, the discovery of leven hook here we see that the first time in 1665 robert hook has observed a dead cells for the first time now by further improvisation in the lenses doc this scientist leven hook in the year 1674 with the improved microscope he observed the free living cells and the free living cells for the first time he observed from a pond water for the first time for the first time he observed the free living cells by taking a sample of pond water and he was not having an idea what he has to call them and he named it as a any molecules any molecules any molecule means which shows animal like characters movable features so next we will see the slide where after the invention of the magnifying glasses there was it was a great achievement where this magnifying glass or a improvised microscope revealed the microscopic world and for the first time there in 1831 in 1831 robert hook robert hook in 1839 robert hook 31 sorry it was robert brown in 1831 who discovered the nucleus so nucleus is the heart and brain or a head quarter of the cell which will control all the activities of the cell next we will move on to the slide that is we will see what is this protoplasm this was also a great uh, discovery like protoplasm discovery of protoplasm 
सो परकिनेज इन एटीन थर्टी नाइन क्वाइन द टर्म प्रोटोप्लाजम फॉर द फ्लूड प्रेजेंट इन द सेल वॉट इज दिस प्रोटोप्लाजम प्रोटोप्लाजम इन द सेंस इन साइड द सेल द न्यूक्लियोप्लाजम एज वेल एज द साइटोप्लाजम विच इज इन अ लिक्विड फॉर्म और अ फ्लूड मटेरियल टूगेदर ही नेम्ड इट एज अ प्रोटोप्लाजम एंड दैट इज इन द इयर एटीन थर्टी नाइन सो नेक्स्ट देर वॉज अ सेल थेरी प्रोपोज्ड बाय टू ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट एंड वॉट इज दैट सेल थेरी फर्स्ट वी सी हु आर दो साइंटिस्ट शिल्डन इन एटीन थर्टी एट एंड श्वैन इन एटीन थर्टी नाइन दे पुट फॉर्थ द सेल थेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू दैम दे सेट दैट ऑल लिविंग बॉडीज आर मेड आउट ऑफ सेल and this cells this bodies are made out of either a unicellular a single cell or a multicellular organism made out of many cells this theory was further extended by this theory was further extended by workoff in the year 1855 and he said that the cells arise from a pre existing cells means everyone were having a question earlier they were thinking that the organism will appear in the nature spontaneously but this theory proved that the cells are arising from a pre existing cell means the first the cell is there it will then divide into new cells and from that the life begins so this is how the cell theory was put forth by shilden and schwann in 1838 and 1839 the cell theory was further explained by workoff 1855 and according to him the cell arises from a pre existing cells so students you might have got a clear idea regarding cell theory now let us move on to the unicellular and multicellular organisms as we see here unicellular and multicellular organisms unicellular means what unicellular means when the organisms are made up of a single cell they are called as a unicellular organisms example for these are amoeba paramecium chlamydomonas there are many organisms which compose a single cell is considered to be a whole organism what all activities are seen in a higher group of organism they are performed by a single cell example digestion excretion respiration by this unicellular organisms if we consider for the next category of organisms like multicellular organisms multicellular means these are made out of many cells many cells group together to form a single body therefore they are called as multicellular organisms organism that are made up of two or more cells are called multicellular organisms i hope you have understood up to here let us move to the next slide now let us see what is the definition of cell so what is the definition of cell here the cell definition of cell cells are the basic structural and functional unit of life basic means it is the main first the start of a life is cell and as the life begins with the cell whatever the cells are performing whatever the cells provide the structure for the living organism the organism look in the same way cells are the basic structural as well as functional unit of life so what is this functional unit functional means what they are performing lot many activities as we see in our body respiration then digestion excretion all this kind of things are taking place in a single cell so some organisms when they are made up of single cell we call them unicellular example you can see amoeba paramecium and organism which are made out of many cells we call them as a 
multicellular exam uh, multicellular animals and the examples are trees elephants okay next we will see the question is that whether all the cells are of same shape and size obviously the answer will be not because you see amoeba the amoeba is having a irregular shape why it is having a irregular shape the shape of this organism keep on changing because it comprises of a whole new organism because it comprises of a whole organism so we see here that amoeba is a uh, having irregular shape whereas we see there is one of the cell which is fixed having a fixed shape and size and that is the nerve cell so why these cells like some examples are uh, smooth muscle cells rb red blood cells why they have a different shapes this shape is different because their functions are different as per their functions they have a different shapes and sizes so next move on to the size if we talk about the size of the organism uh, cell of size of the cell then we see the cell in the living organism are of different sizes so what are the different sizes like it is a very tiny unit then what will what might be the major so they may be a small as a millionth of a meter that is we are considering as micron or micrometer or a few large or a large as few centimeter and examples for that the smallest cell is the bacterial cell which measures about 0.125 micrometer and the largest cell of an ostrich that is 17 cm into 13 cm so you can see the pictures here and you can just uh, find out the size of the organisms so the size of the cells it it can comprise from micrometer to centimeters